Now, City Council met for the first time this evening since the discovery of black mold in City Hall. Members talked about fixing the problem, how much it'll cost, and how that work can get done. 27 First News reporter Lindsay Watson joins us live now, new at 10. The worst thing they've ever seen. That's exactly how one architect described the building. City leaders say while the building itself is stable, the roof is in dire need of repair, along with the removal of the mold. This cannot wait. Nile city leaders are now on a desperate timeline, looking to get funds as soon as possible to repair the city hall building. It's moving forward as quickly as it is uh, relative to getting shared service agreements in place to better use the people's money. Proposals vary in the six figures and three different contractors are being looked at to fix the roof, the outside of the building and the mold problem. It's going to be a substantial amount of money. But until that roof is in place, those areas cannot be scrubbed down and cleaned for mold because that is the source. President of Tima Roofing Services said water is getting through a portion of the roof and insulation, causing leaks and mold to form in the building. If anybody were to get on top of this roof and walk around, you'd notice that there's clear uh, deficiencies that the roof needs repair. Early Wednesday afternoon, several offices and sections of the building were blocked off with plastic while restoration crews went through the building, wiping everything down. They're also moved to the Wellness Center as a precaution. Now, according to City Service Director James Pas DePasquale, the city knew about the roof leak five years ago, but was told it just needed patchwork. City Council will also be holding special meetings each day next week starting at 5.30 p.m. until everything is taken care of to get the building fixed as soon as possible. Reporting live in the studio, Lindsay Watson, 27 First News at 10.